Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Isayuki and we are going to do today kind of uh, recovered video from the other channel once more. I realized that I had a Jaza Artbook unboxing done on the other channel but I never showed it here and I am using all of the stuff from this box on daily basis when I do art and like a pencil every every time and the crayons which I'm using with every single marker art right now and markers which at this point are half dried I mean they didn't dry by itself they are just used they are empty <laughs> so uh, they're more like a souvenir at this point I mean I could try and check if there are you know refills for them I don't know if they are I never checked because I have so many Ahuhu markers and Copic not too much of Copic markers at this point <laughs> obviously not even close to have the whole collection but some which I'm using and some of my most used markers from Copic which are dried already I have uh, refills for them because I do use them for skin There's ver this is very funny because most of the colors I use for skin are 000 Zero 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 R E C E whatever it is still as well here those my go-to markers for basic basic shadow colors and everything and then I go a little bit more with pinkish or purple colors to do more of them more complicated art but yes we are going to do unboxing today and I will just let you help I cannot really even show you the box here because right now the box is somewhere. You know, I am using this for other stuff like holding paints or brushes or whatever it is inside this box right now. I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, you will find inside the art, which we will see more later in the video. But I can try to show you a little bit here. It is a little bit over. You know, there's too much light because I like a lot of light on myself. But yeah, I will show you all of this there and tell you a little bit of story of why this art looks like it does I mean it's it's not flat or anything it's wobbled and water damage and it will go nicely with my other Gaza art here but you won't be able to see it because of me in the frame so yeah I will do it this way let's pretend this is the box so let's get started <laughs> Okay, we will start with unboxing as usually. This is the box, how it looks. It is very pretty. I think I use this box right now to hold paints. All right, let's get to opening the box and you can see the thank you card, which is uh, very sweet and very nice. You can see a message from Jaza and from company they did the box together they used to call themselves uh, art box but now they are called the muskets so you can probably see them on my profile a lot see this is the picture jaza printed and um, i mean he signed it first and then printed and it is a little bit wrinkly it is because the box was sitting outside my house for a few days i didn't know that the um, courier brought it and left it there we had that uh, fake well outside so he put it there just in case it was raining or something it's fine i don't mind that but i didn't know it was there so after a few days i was i got the message that i've got the box and i couldn't find it so i went outside and was like maybe maybe he hid it somewhere and i found it <laughs> but it got a little bit of water damage here barber castle pencils colored pencils this is my favorite one so far you will see, you did see, if you watch other videos on my channel, that I use a lot of these pencils and uh, uh, actually supplies from this box because I did open it a while ago already and uh, I did a lot of nice art, I believe it is nice, I like them, with things from that box. And to be fair, if you will check all the boxes I opened, this is the one which I am actually using a lot, the pencil, razor and everything. This is something I <laughs> use a lot here. This pencil, this is a blue pencil, so it's very easy to erase it. You can do, you know, sketches with that and then erase it, put the line art. I cannot find it for my life. 
I don't know where it is. I always hold my precious art supplies together and this is one of those which I actually hold close somewhere where I can do my art and everything so it is easy to get it, reach it and I don't know where it is. It must have slipped from my pencil case at some point and I, I have no idea where and when. Uh, since I had that box open, I believe I did travel to England and back a few times and I always have some art sitting on me. Now I can use Jaza art bag, you know, to have everything in the bag. Usually I have like a pouch, so uh, this is everything what was in the box. I did hulk through, but you can see on the screen what is inside and I do use all of them. I don't use this pencil case anymore that much because it was taking too much space and when you travel to, you know, be a plane, you don't want too many things. So I used a small pouch where I could drop everything together. It was easier, but I still use it. I usually have all liners here on my desk and I just move them on this. It's very funny because it is visible. It is visible that way, what I have in the in inside here. So what I decided to do was to do monster trio from one piece and you have luffy zoro and sanji here um i decided to do them in a little bit different style as you can see i used this beautiful pencil here that was the first time i use it and then it it's gone it's gone so finger crossed i will find it someday because you know it was in the jaza box and i want it so this is how I decided to do line art sketch at this point and went with a pencil over it. When I started using this pencil, I wasn't exactly sure if I liked that aluminum metallic touch on plastic there because my usually go-to pencil used to have um, not the rubber, it was like, um, what was the material? I think in English it's called rubber or India rubber, I think. I'm not sure. So. Uh, and it was that one uh, shake out, so you can shake it and the uh, uh, wind from inside is going out and you don't have to push it. It was very funny to do the click, click, click outside, you know, when you do drawings and people always look at me. What are you doing? Why are you shaking your pants so much? I was like, yeah, this is just a way to get it out. So the line art. I do like go with uh, over thickened line. That was the point when I tried different style, a little bit different than what I usually do because this is like not exactly one piece uh, shish line like. You can see definitely, especially fans of the franchise will see that it is not really how one piece looks like. But since we can do our own, you know, tricks there, I decided to go with that. I wouldn't even call it semi uh, real because it's not. It's just different different kind of uh, anime line. I am at the point where I'm still looking and trying to get my own style. I, I don't have it. I still do like a copy of different styles from anime artists. Uh, but I, I think it, it is a way to learn and actually create something what at some point will be your own. And uh, fingers crossed again that I will learn someday and create this and uh, we can look at the art online and say oh this is i know that one i know that girl she, i know who, who drew it i don't remember her name that's fine but i i know who it is <laughs> Oh, right, and markers. Here, it is way different style than I do right now. And this was the first time I did shading on skin with a gray color first. I wanted to make it a little bit muddy because I wanted the colors of uh, clothes to pop up because they will be very bright. You will see in a moment. Or like Sanji's hair here. I did use a little bit of gray to make it a little bit muddy, I think. That's the good word for this but it is still um, it was still process that was the first time but usually in videos like that i do try something new like with watercolors recently and when i finish i look at the picture and think yeah i can do better <laughs> i know i can do better 
but it is not that bad i really like it especially the notebook it is very suitable for alcohol markers they blend very well and those crayons i never mix the crayons with markers before i always used one or the other but after this day i started to do those uh, a little bit bigger than a4 format with pictures and drawings and i do alcohol markers different brands usually on one picture and crayons and it goes so good together so yes this is the finished look for that art so finished video finished picture how did you like it i mean it is one of those which i do really like i do enjoy this and like i said it was different kind of doing the art i used gray for skin which i don't usually do it was more like a test try on piece and i just realized that in the video the color yellow is more orange it is not that orange in in real life it's more yellow i don't know if you can see this on this camera i think it is more yellow here yeah so this is what i did and i was sure and i was ready to show you and say this is actually the only one art i did in that sketchbook because it is so nice sketchbook and i believe there's a lot of you there when we get a nice sketchbook we are so afraid to do something inside but then i realized i did my cat pizza art it was the real life thing when my cat decided to sleep on the pizza box we just arrived so that was funny easter bunnies as well I am not very proud of this one, it didn't work out very well, but it was a little bit of doing Ray from Yakusoku no Neverland. The problem with this one is I did it from memory and to be fair, I never really drew him before or did I once, I don't remember right now if that was first picture or the big Copic art was the big per first one. But yeah, and then there's this tiny little thing which I did as well. So yes, I did use this notebook a little bit, this sketchbook. I wouldn't call it even sketchbook. This is so nice quality paper for our alcohol markers. It just works well. I hope you did like the video, even so it is a little bit uh, short and in different style, but I, like I said, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to do better editing and more fun one and I hope you would like to stay here and uh, go through that process with me. And of course, if you have any advice to improve the video, I am happy to hear that. Right now I am working on the microphone because at this point I'm just checking the mic. I am using the microphone from the camera, not the original one. I have a microphone plugged in, but I am not very happy with the results I am getting from this microphone. So I am working on either one which will stay above my head so you won't have to see it and I will plug it to the computer and I will use this for main audio and this one from camera as a backup audio because it's not that bad I believe but it can be better. So that will be one thing or eventually the wireless one which I will just pin here but it is a little bit more expensive but I may try to get one of those yeah so if you have an advice you're welcome to tell me if you have something specific what you would like to see on this channel please let me know because we are like i said we, there will be a lot of things i am looking in the corner right now which i have there and there are more boxes to open like jaza incredible inky box i have still a pail of bts things to open including uh, those membership boxes the four which you can get every year i have them as well and uh, more crafty boxes i do want to do more paintings video here and uh, i am wondering what you prefer do you want to see me do the sketch from the beginning because it doesn't always go the way i would like to go so there's a lot of racing and trying things or go with ready line art and do coloring with uh, watercolors or markers i am the best with markers and crayons together but i am going into watercolors more and more because i found those pictures very similar to alcohol markers I, in my opinion at least so that's the idea there's no such thing like shortage of ideas here because I've been trying to start this channel for years right now but I wasn't really 
really ready or confident enough I am still not because you <laughs> I know it will sound stupid and I, I I do see myself hearing this it does sound stupid but believe me or not my English is not that bad on daily basis as you can hear in the videos the accent is better when I speak off the camera grammar is better much better when I speak off the camera I just feel like there's this kind of sort of stress you know this uh, I don't know how, you, how to call it I am still a little bit nervous here I try my best to not be but it is still there so since this is still the beginning of my channel because we started in December I feel like I can actually lay some of my feelings here <laughs> and you know explain myself a little bit why it is still the way it is but I am sure it will get better oh and finger crossed if one of the trips for this year will work out the way it should I will have so so great videos but probably for the end of this year but oh finger crossed fingers crossed for me oh right and I usually go for gaming events I am not sure if that will be something what you would like to see but do you want to see a little bit of vlogs from that sort of things? My whole working area for this channel is just this desk here and what I have here. You see this is more like a storage and the desk here is all I have and a little bit of storage there. Like I said, right behind you is the whole other... I call it studio. I call it studio because this is my bedroom <laughs> and this is my sleeping area which I won't show you. Let's keep a little bit of a mystery between us right now at least and the other side is my gaming area where I do daily gaming and this is uh, at this point gaming is my main channel and I spend days days I spend hours every day whole days to create content for the other channel but doing weekly videos here are taking sometimes from every day as well some videos can be done in I don't know in one day but some really need days to be done this is why you sometimes see me in different outfits and the makeup or hair just giving up whatever I did with them before so, <laughs> or different color even because I do use pink uh, conditioner so it washes out with every wash but I do like this pale color more than the other one and so yeah I decided to make it like, like a rumble chit chatting video by the end so I'm sorry for that to everyone who survived to this moment and uh, was brave enough to stay here thank you very much <laughs> you can drop purple heart emoji if you did and uh, i hope you can help me to grow and obviously i don't want to tell you to like it and subscribe to make it grow i want to meet your expectations so if there's something you would like to see just let me know and uh, i will see you next week thank you bye